I want to start today's video by thanking our school leaders, teachers, custodians, and staff. Throughout our response to coronavirus disease, or COVID-19, school-based staff have gone above and beyond to ensure our students are safe, healthy, and learning. Today, March 10th, we had our first confirmed case of COVID-19 in Seattle Public Schools. Aki Kurosi Middle School will be closed for disinfecting and we are working with public health to determine the length of the school closure. We have followed our emergency procedures, which you can view on our website. As testing becomes more readily available, we may have more lab confirmed cases. We will continue to provide you with updated information daily. We know that Seattle Public Schools plays an essential role in our daily operations of our city, especially during a time of uncertainty and difficulty. Every day, our teachers and staff work to ensure our students are receiving high quality instruction while also providing critical basic needs for many students, including regular meals, health care, and after school childcare. Healthcare professionals, researchers, emergency responders, custodial staff, and so many in our community are selflessly protecting and caring for our loved ones in the response to COVID-19. Our teachers and staff are also on the front lines of this response, and I'm so thankful for their commitment and dedication to our students and families. By keeping our doors open as long as possible, we can continue to support our community's key responders to COVID-19. The health and safety of our students is our top priority. We are working in partnership with Public Health Seattle and King County in our response. At this time, Public Health does not recommend proactively closing all schools. We are closing when the confirmed COVID-19 case is identified. I'm in daily contact with Public Health to ensure we are making informed, transparent decisions for our families and staff. In the event of a district-wide closure, many have asked about online or at-home learning. The Office of the Superintendent of Public Instruction does not recommend online options unless all students will have equal access. Many of our students do not have regular access to technology or the internet. As a result, we will not provide online distance learning. Staff have been asked to prepare activities in the event of a student or teacher absence. This will not take the place of regular classroom instruction, but it will supplement student learning. Thank you again to our Seattle Public School team, including our families and students, for working with us in our response to COVID-19. As we work together in this evolving situation, we will continue to stay grounded in our values and our mission to educate, engage, and empower all of our students. Thank you.